Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. My name is Meerkat. Today is Tuesday, February 17th, 2015. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Toasty Heels Mage deck. What the hell kind of deck is this? Well, it's a deck that I crafted, and it relies on two, maybe three principles. One, secrets for ramping up things like your Ethereal Arcanist and your Mana Worm. And then two, healing to keep you um, alive and sustained throughout aggressive style decks or mid rangey type of decks with your uh, two antique kill bots and your Illuminator Illuminati. <laughs> and then third possible principle you could say is it's a very adaptable style deck. So, I mean, officially it's a theory craft. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically you're trying out a different idea that is just kind of an interesting, you know, your own style, unique, whatever you want to call it, type of deck. But it's not really popular. You're just kind of trying it out. So that's basically what this deck is, although I've had a lot of success with it in the last month. I play it whenever I get bored, and I play it whenever I don't seem to be getting over that 50% win rate with any of the other popular decks that I'm playing. And so... Um, I've been playing a lot of Shockadin lately, and I'm kind of plateauing at rank 10. I don't really seem to go past, and I don't really seem to go too far below, so I figured I'd go ahead and change it up with the uh, deck that I created here. Anyways, hopping into the deck list, we got two Ice Lance, two Mana Worms, two Frost Bolts, one Blage... Blage? <laughs> you ever try to say two words at once? One Blood Mage Thalnos, two Mad Scientist, two Counter Spells, one Duplicate, one Ice Block, one Spell Vendor. Now pause. Right here, my secrets. Let me explain it real quick. I've got two counter spells. In my opinion, counter spell is the best mage card of all time. Archmage Antonidas is the coolest mage to uh, mage card of all time, but counter spell definitely, in my opinion, um, which doesn't count for much, but, but whatever. I think counter spell is the best card. That's why I've got that card in this deck, and it is a secret type of deck. Um, and I don't want to go too overboard with secrets, but I don't want to have too few. I have a cat hair in my mouth. Oh god. Puh. That's terrible. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> going back to the secrets. Two counter spells are awesome. Um, I've got one duplicate, one ice block, and one spellbender. Now the reason why I've only got one of three other kinds is because I really want to throw off my opponent. I don't want my opponent to assume that I've got a mere entity um, and I actually play a mere entity. What I want my opponent to do is assume I have a mere entity and I've got a Spellbender, and he buffs up his own card, but instead it goes to my Spellbender, and now I have a buffed up Spellbender. And this hair is not... Excuse me. Oh my god. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Jesus. Whew, man. Lunch of champions. Anyways, um, so moving on. Um, one Illuminator um, works well with your secrets and heals you up, sustaining you. One Echo of Mediv, really effective card if you can use it on two to three minions. Two Polymorphs, two Ethereal Arcanists for ramping up with your secrets. Two Antique Killbots for healing and sustaining. Two Azor Drakes for card draw and spell damage with your Frostbolt, Ice Lance, Wombo Combo, if you can pull it off. Uh, two Blizzards. One Sylvanas Windrunner, Sylvanas Windrunner, uh, one Flame Strike, one Alexstrasza, one Pyroblast. These, uh, sorry, these two cards right here are another good combo. Pull off Alexstrasza turn nine, Pyroblast turn ten, bada bing, bada boom. Um, do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and back out of here and hop into a game. Mm, yes. So, Toasty Hills. I don't know, I had a different name for this deck, I think before I used to call it Secret Heals, and I thought, wow, that's a really lame name. So then I called it Toasty Heals, and it's also a lame name, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with the story, but the point is, Toasty Heals is a deck that I crafted, I'm rather proud of it, and I feel it has a lot of potential, although the only problem with it is I'm not that great with it because it's not that popular of a deck, in fact, it's not a popular deck at all, so because of that reason people haven't investigated and played it and picked it apart piece by piece understanding the best way to play it against certain types of decks so with that being the case i've got a lot of practice with this deck but anyways i digress we're playing against a mage here i'm gonna assume it's a mech mage so i'm gonna hold on to the mad scientist get rid of the alex Strauss, get rid of the echo of mediv and i'm gonna get rid of the duplicate while i'm at it okay fantastic 
So I could Mad Scientist and Frostbolt the first couple of turns, and turn three potentially, or turn four, do Ethereal Arcanist. Now if he doesn't play anything this turn, I'm going to just go ahead and pass the turn. Perfect. Now the reason why I'm passing the turn here is because next turn I can drop the Mad Scientist, hopefully he kills it off, or I can kill it myself, and turn three coin into an Ethereal Arcanist. Which it looks like, that is indeed what I will be able to do. I could have done the Frostbolt, but again, I don't want to screw up my plan here. I want to buff up that Ethereal Arcanist. Looks like he's going to ignore it. Maybe. I should be so lucky for him to attack into it. Oh, wait a minute. Did he misplay there? He played that, then I played that. Yeah, he did. He didn't attack into anything with that. It's really strange. What do I do now? <laughs> well, I guess now I go ahead and do this. Maybe? Was that good? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. This deck is very adaptable, so you just want to play it around however your opponent is playing, and then hope you win. <laughs> Next turn, I will definitely be dropping down the Ethereal Arcanist. Why is he not attacking this guy? This is really concerning. <laughs> um, okay. Polymorph you. And... I guess. What have I got? Duplicate. Okay. Well, next turn I can drop down the Ethereal Arcanist and get two more back if he kills it off. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. This guy is not playing at all the way I was expecting him to play. Throwing me off. Throwing me for a loop. Watch, watch. He's going to ignore me. Mm, here comes Ethereal Arcanist. Buff it up to a 5-5. Five, five, plus I got Duplicate. So if he does decide to kill it, I'll get two back. If he polymorphs it, I'm going to say shit. <laughs> I hope he doesn't polymorph it. Don't polymorph it. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. So I get two more. Dose Moss. So next turn, I'm just going to drop down the Blizzard. Turn after that, I might do Ethereal Arcanist and Spellbender. Maybe. This guy, this guy is doing quite a bit of damage to me, but that's okay. Next turn I could do another blizzard if I have to. Which actually might not be a bad idea. Okay, here comes an unstable portal. What does it got? What'd you get? What'd you get? Got a mech, that's for sure. Or not. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Guess we blizzard. This guy's being really aggressive. Obviously, he's a mech mage, but uh, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> I had a plan, and it went to shit. I don't have anything to heal me up right now. See, I've played a counter spell. No. Yes. No. Duplicate. Have I played a counter spell? I don't remember. What to do? Uh. What to do? Two four. Sure, why not? Might be kind of a waste dropping down Blood Mage Thalmos right now, but... If he has a Fireball, I'm dead, for sure. He's 
Got a mana worm. No fireball. Gonna pick off the blood mage. Yep, there he goes. It comes an illuminator, which is good news. So I can heal up. Okay. Do I get a nice block? No, counter spell. Okay, so I get healed up, and this gets a buff, and I get a counter spell, which means if he does have a fireball, it's gonna get counter counter spelled. Hopefully, he doesn't have a spell because I would like to keep my secret up at least one more turn to buff this up even further. Mm. No. Well, I can drop down a spell vendor. Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, I can heal myself up again. Yes? No? Maybe so? <laughs> okay. I can heal myself up to 10. Where is my antique heal bot? Okay. Okay, I'm going to drop down a counter spell because he's only going to draw into one card unless he's got no, even if he has a card draw if he's got uh, arcane intellect it'll still get counter spelled Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm in a pretty good position here. I think. I think. I've got a counter spell, so if he has a pyre blast, no big deal. If he's got a fireball, no big deal. If he's got any spell, no big deal. There goes a frostball. Goodbye. See you later. Nice to know ya. Okay, cool. Next turn, for sure, going to play the Spellbender and the Ethereal Arcanist. Uh, wait a minute. 17, 18, 19, not enough. Okay. Just continue to heal myself up. Up to 12 hit points, so if he does have a Pirate Blast, which I'm more than certain he doesn't have, um, I'll be fine, because I'm at 12 hit points. Look at this! Look at this! And you were worried. You thought I lost the game. I thought I lost the game. <laughs> These Ethereal Arcanists are really, really deadly when you can get them buffed up. Okay, that is gonna be game, folks. Boom. 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 Adios, see ya, sayonara, goodbye. Well played. Well played. Okay, cool. So, there you go, Toasty Hills. Very adaptable style deck. I probably could have played it a lot better than I did, but hey! Shoulda, woulda, coulda, hindsight's 2020, etc., etc. Anyways, let me hop back out of here real quick one more time, hop into the deck one last time, and explain a couple of things. So for this deck, um, I didn't draw into my anti-kill bots, which I would have preferred um, when I was starting to get really low in health, but uh, I was able to swing it around at the very end of the game, got kind of lucky there. Um, <laughs> so uh, I guess I didn't need them at the end of the game. Um, some substitutions, what you could substitute out in place of sludge belters if you're finding that you want some taunt in this deck because this deck doesn't have any taunt you could swap out one antique heal bot and one azor drake unless you want to keep the card draw i would swap out one antique heal bot and maybe even one blizzard and throw in two sludge belters this game uh, this deck doesn't have a big game hunter so it doesn't really have much in the way of scary uh threat bomb removal but uh, I feel that it's not really necessary right now. Um, even with people playing Dr. Boom Bot, Big Game Hunter can get rid of Dr. Boom, but not the Boom Bots. So, um, Alex Draza is a good card to have in this deck, in my opinion. 
Um, yeah, if you want those sludge bolters, you can maybe take out one anti kill bot and one blizzard, throw in two of those guys. And then I think also um, if you're having if you're having a lot of trouble in the early portions of the game, what I would recommend is getting rid of the two Icelands cards and dropping in two mirror images instead. Um, I find that's really effective if you're playing against a lot of warriors. Because when you play against warriors um, and they start to see that you're not really dropping anything, like for example, if you drop down um, Ethereal Arcanus in the early portion of the game to the mid portion of the game, and you play against a warrior, they're going to try to take it out with shield slam, execute, things like that. But if you haven't drawn into those cards and you're not playing anything in the first portion of the game, the hunter is going to start attacking you a lot with weapons, um, from my experience anyways. So if that's the case, if you're playing against a lot of people like that or hunters that have weapons early on or very aggressive minions like mech mages that don't have much in the way of early board removal, um, mirror image would be a good substitute for ice lance. So anyways, that is the deck, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Leave a comment or suggestion in the box below. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more videos. I'm trying to gear up my channel here. And also leave a like if you would in the like section of the video. And until next time, my name is Meerkat.